Hi friends, welcome to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. My name is Devin, and today I'm going to be talking about how my kids go through the process of writing an animal report. Today I'm going to be talking about how my kids write their animal research papers, how I guide them through the process. This was a question asked to me by Anita Fernandez, so thank you so much for the question. We were just starting a new animal project at the time, so I thought that as we go through it, I might as well record our process. I have been recording over the past, I'm not sure how many weeks. This year we are going through Noeo Science Biology 2, and some of the projects is they want you to write a report or do a poster or something about an animal every week. Now, in my family, that is a very funny thought. There is no possible way I could get my kids to write a report once a week. So instead of that, we are doing one every two to four weeks at the most. Sometimes it takes six weeks between and it doesn't take us six weeks to write the paper, but I might not assign it again until we're on the next type of animal. So we've done reports on invertebrates. Let's see, we did fish or sea creatures. We just finished our birds. We are going to do one on reptiles and amphibians. And our last one for this year is going to be on mammals. So I do not want you to get the impression that we just do this process very quickly. It is actually quite a long process and some of my kids are more independent at it than others. So I just wanted to explain the process to you. Here's our final product. My daughter made up this on Canva. So she created all the cover pages. So we have animal reports. I told her what the subcategories were. And so she made little headings for those. And then I will give you a closer look at what our reports look like, but each kid has written one report to go in that section. And so they have some written and then we go on the computer and find an image and copy it down and put it in here. So as for the process, my girls are much more independent on this because they have been taking IEW structure and style and that has helped a lot. And I've been using that process with my boys even though they have not yet taken that course. So the girls know how to create the keyword outline and then they make their rough draft from the keyword outline and then I edit it for them and then they do their final copy and they either type it up or write it up nicely and we add a picture. So the girls are much more independent at that. My girls are 11 and 13. So my boys are nine and 10 and I would say my nine-year-old is a more fluent writer than my 10-year-old but they both need a lot of structure and help at this point to get their ideas down on paper. So I work with them more one-on-one. -on -one. I help them do the research. I help them, I highlight words that they should write for their keyword outline. I guide them in making sentences from that keyword outline. And then I help them edit and write their final draft. So it takes a lot longer for my boys to get through this process. So I'm just gonna show you some clips of me working through this process more with my boys than with my girls. Hopefully that's helpful and gives you a good idea. So our first step would be pick the animal that you're going to research. And I will just write it on the board, my kids' names and the animals that they picked. Next step, we do the research. The girls can go online and I might help them find a good page to start looking at facts and information and writing down information, but they can do that pretty much on their own. I require them to write 12 to 15 sentences, so more details. And then for my boys, I go online and I have a clip of, of me doing that here. So as far as researching the reports, I give different amounts of help to my different kids. My third and fourth grader, I actually go and find an article for them and I print it off so that we can go through and I can read it to them and we can highlight the words that they want to write down together. So for example, with the ruby throated hummingbird facts for kids, and I just find one that I think looks good and it's still too detailed, but I will just copy and paste and then format it so that it is just a simple Word document. And then I will read through some of the information with them and 
ask them what they want to record and I'll highlight it and then they can write it down on their keyword outline. So I help my third and fourth grader by doing that. Hi, Hi everyone, this is Come in the Chaos of School. <laughs> the we bring Come into the Chaos. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, uh, I am doing the really part of the, uh, the, the ruby throated uh, hummingbird is the cutest bird ever. Okay. All right. So we did wingspan. Do we want to talk about the weight? Do we oh. want to talk about what they look wait, like? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Wait. So here you can see I'm just going through and reading through the paragraphs and the articles and just checking what sentences he wants to write down as his facts and then helping him come up with the words that he wants to write down. So my youngest just completed his keyword outline for his research report. My youngest is very artistic, so creating a keyword outline does involve a lot of pictures for him. A keyword outline is from IEW strategy of how to record information and then not end up plagiarizing the information. So you get three words per sentence or fact that you're going to be using and you can draw as many symbols or things as you want. So he does a lot of symbols, a lot more I say than the average child, but he mostly writes in symbols. Sometimes it's a little hard to translate when we're supposed to start writing the sentences that go with the symbols, but this is just an example of what one kid's keyword outline might look like. He is in third grade, just for example, and I just have him do six sentences for his reports at this point. So here's a look at his final keyword outline. All right, so he has the ruby-throated hummingbird here. These are going to be his sentences. I'm not sure if you can see that very well since this clipboard is transparent, but these are gonna be what he's going to use to write his rough draft about the ruby-throated hummingbird. I'll show you another example of some other people's outlines just so you have a better idea of what other outlines might look like. Do you want me to move no. my hands? Uh, okay. So far. Okay. I'm giving you three pieces of paper. So then maybe it's the next week and the next week's task is to convert the words on their keyword outline into sentences. So they have three words and any symbols that they want and we're converting those words and symbols into sentences. So we go and we just write down our sentences or what becomes our rough draft. Then I help them edit it and I give it back to them. And the next week is probably when they're going to do the final write up, the final project, give them a nice piece of paper and with a space for a picture, they write it out. I let my sons use pen this time. It was erasable ink, but I don't know. It didn't turn out super nice. I might make them use pencil in the future, but I let them use my erasable pens. So they wrote it out and then we go online and they select a picture that they want of that animal. I print it off and stick it on their project. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and I'm gonna show you kind of our final products and what they look like. And so this is for a span of four children ages nine to 13. And of course the quality of work varies depending not necessarily on the age of my children, but on their abilities. All right, so here's a look inside of our animal research report binder and what we've done so far this year. So we have invertebrates, so one of my kids did this. This was my youngest child, so he's in third grade. This is my fourth grader here. Show you guys a little more in the back here. This is my fifth graders, and this is my sixth graders. Then we did another one, my fifth grader, my third grader, fourth grader. He had several pages here because he writes really big, and my sixth grader. Then we did birds and sea creatures. My fifth grader, so he's got the picture on the back. This is the one we did this time. So this is my son's final draft. This is my third grader and my sixth grader and my fourth grader. So he wrote it on the back as well. So those are the reports we've done so far, and that is the process that we use to write these reports. 
One thing I wanted to mention quickly about these animal reports, my kids put very little resistance up to writing these and I attribute that to the fact that we take it nice and slow and that we are using the IEW process. So I don't have any videos up on IEW, but I plan on making one soon. The process works really great for kids who need help organizing their ideas and coming up with some kind of structure. And it really helps me be able to teach them how to do the recording of facts without plagiarizing the information. So just a vote of confidence for the IEW method and just taking it slow and easy. So I found this though having my kids write research papers has been a bit intimidating for me. It has been a good experience so far and I'm glad that we did it in this way. So that is how my kids go through the process of writing their animal research papers. Thank you so much for coming. I hope that was helpful and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.